I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. See those superstars. Hollywood to Hollywood. Girl, you look good. Yeah, they hollering, baby. A key modeling, baby. ATL, D. I put the spotlight on your city. Carolina, Philly. I put the spotlight on your city. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Spotlight Over the City. I'm your host, Stan Long, along with the super duper co host, Mrs. Dana Dane. Yeah, up, we in the up, building. What's up, y'all? Good to be here. Good. I'm happy. I'm feeling good. We got an amazing guest today. We're not even going to get on him yet, but I'll just give you a hint. BJ Page. BJ Page. We all won. Hashtag we all won. Boys the bow ties. That's right. So before we get to that, I have to definitely send uh, my condolences out to Ryan Rue. My homeboy lost his mother on my way over here. She passed away from oh, stage four cancer. Man, this cancer thing, tough. So uh, I definitely wanted to dedicate the show to him. Hold your head up, bro. It'll get better. I know it's tough. So on to the show. Spotlight News. We're going to make it quick because we got a big show today. Spotlight News. Hazel E. <laughs> and also Johnny Blaze. You ever watch... Uh, Spotlight. I mean, I'm sorry. You about spotlight. spotlight over the you city. Ever, <laughs> you ever watch um, Love and Hip Hop Hollywood? No. You don't get into that. Mm-mm. Well, I be into the writing the show thing, so I have to pay attention to what, what's going on. Okay, well, Hazel, what Hazel those P people? is one of the people. It's not a big deal. It's not even worth newsworthy. I just wanted to touch on that for the Love and Hip Hop community that love that. They didn't make it this season. They got booted off. And you can go to Johnny Blaze's page, and she talked some undercover stuff about what's going on behind the scenes that wasn't supposed to be out. But um, mm-hmm. they everybody. So he did that because he that. got booted off the it's show. It's a girl, actually. Johnny oh, she, Blaze so is a female. Got, oh, I thought yeah. it was a dude. I know, right? Everybody say that when it's Johnny. So she did that because she got put off the show. She got put off the show. Now and, um, she gonna spill now all she's the tea. Salty, so you know when you when you already involved the show, you know the stuff that people don't know in the public. Mm-hmm. So she went on in. I think they they took it down. But anyway, on to the next. My man Michael Rappaport. That's my favorite white boy in the world. You hear me? When I say he should be the president. I love this dude, man. He is hilarious, but he's really conscious, and um, he's woke, and I love him. He has a book out. Um, what's the name of Michael Rapp? You know it's going to be crazy. This is the name of his book. This book has balls. This book has <laughs> balls. That's the name of the That's book? The name what of is his the book, book about? Guys. Well, Michael Rappaport, if you, ever, if you haven't heard of him, he, he's, a, he's the actor, and um, I can't really remember some of the stuff he played in, but he's also kind of comedic. And he's really crazy, right? He says crazy yeah, the stuff. Name the book but there, the book, yeah. yeah, but the book is gonna talk about different subjects all around like the president and this, this and all this different stuff, and he makes humor of it, but he shines light on it and gives his opinion. It's really just gotcha. that type of book. But I just like to shout him out because I rock with him tough and he has a book out and I'm an author and I support authors. So go get that book, Michael Rappaport. If you don't know who he is, go on um Instagram and check him out. You'll you're gonna just hold on to your seat, you're gonna die laughing. Anyway, on to the next. Man, 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 man. The church shooting. Okay, let me. I'm out of order. I'm out of order. I'm out of order. The Kardashians get $150 million for five seasons. And I'm not mad at them. I'm not either. I'm not. Shout so- out to Kris Jenner. She is a true, Kris Kardashian, true boss. She is. When I say the epitome of a boss. Yes, she is. She has made every, every, except lazy ass Rob, every Kardashian is a millionaire plus. Well, Rob's a millionaire, but he's in low millions. Remember last time we were on the show, we were talking about him. I think his net worth was like something like six million or something Are you like serious? that. It was something. It was a, he's a millionaire. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was like I didn't six, it was a, it was very low compared to his sisters and his mom, of course. Well, that's very high based on what I thought. Because yeah, yeah, it was I, like six all million. All I saw him do was produce the. It was deal. low. It was one number. I know that it wasn't a ten. It wasn't a big. It wasn't yeah. a ten. I maybe know it was, it was a single maybe it was 500, number. Five hundred thousand. No, it was a million, <laughs> but it was a one million. It was one number. Was man, one number. I got some sad news. Sad news. Sad news. Oh, uh, man, I don't even know what to do about this. Well, anyway, let's show the Kardashian video real quick. I'm sorry, I skipped that. We'll be right Kardashians back. Spotlight. just signed a huge new TV deal, and Kim, Chloe, and Courtney are bringing home most of the dough. Hey, guys, it's Brad. Yesterday, it was reported that the Kardashian family signed a $150 million TV deal with E! Network to continue their Kardashian brand. We've broken down the contract a little bit and our sources say it's expected Kim, Chloe, and Courtney will take home about 50 to 60% of that cash. 
Of course, then there's Kris Jenner, who will take home her $15 million for a manager's fee, and it's kind of a trickle effect from there on, with Kylie bringing home some money for her own series, Kendall for appearances, and Rob as well. However, we're told that the younger Kardashians, those born and soon to be born, aren't necessarily part of the $150 million deal, but they'll get their cut if they make appearances on the show. It's worth mentioning the deal is for five cycles, which will run through about 2019, which means you've got at least five new seasons of the show. This deal, of course, still leaves the door open to more spin-off specials, and who knows, maybe the kids will get their own deal too. All right. Welcome back to Spotlight Over the City. Man, I, I have to say shout out to them because this young lady has built a brand that's I've never seen a reality show. They say this is the largest payout for a reality show, but I've never seen a reality show that produces so much in one family. So I have to say again, shout out to Chris. I mean, um, uh, yeah, Chris did something for each and every one of them. She made each one of them a brand. That's every what one she did. Them. She made them a brand. It wasn't like the whole family. The whole family together, they are just out of this world financially, but Chris made each one of them a brand. In their own yeah. right. And she did a damn good job. She did an amazing job. So shout out to her. On to the next. My man, um, Colin Kaepernick. You know, I talk about him a lot. Well, this time it's not controversial. He has a book deal. And they're giving him a million dollars for his book. Interesting enough, I was listening to a clip. And the young lady and the young gentleman was talking about it. And they raised some really good points. Like, what would be in this book? You know what right, I mean? Like, right. what would you... Because you can't write a book about kneeling. Right. You can't write a... Well, I guess you could talk about your career and this and that. So this is what they were saying. And I was like, wow, those are some good points. I would want to know some of those things. So do we know what's in the book? What's we the don't. Book That's why people speculating. But okay. I'm going to show the clip and I'll be right back. Spotlight. If Kaepernick writes a memoir, Robin, what details would you want him to tell you about in the book? You know what really interests me is the possible internal journey he's gone through. From when he initially took this stance, because we know why he took the stance and, and decided to kneel, but it seems as if he has taken on a bit of a, a responsibility to be a leading figure. And if you look at some of his comments right after the initial stance, of course, people like to point to the socks and the, the Castro shirt and, you know, saying he didn't vote, various things like that. I want to know from that point to now if he did a little internal examination and realized, wow, I've become an important figure. I've become someone that people are looking up to or, or people are listening to. And, and if that changed his perspective on some things and made him even more of someone to, to follow in this case. For me, I want to know what his reaction was when President Trump basically called all players who take any SOBs. I'd like to have been a fly on the wall there. I mean, I think like a lot of people is probably a bit of shock. But beyond that, I mean, what does it feel like to hear the president calling you out in that way? I also would like to know what happened this offseason. You know, how close did he think he actually did get to signing with a team? What happened with the Seahawks? Did he think that they were bringing him in and talking to him because they actually wanted to potentially give him a backup job? Or were they doing it maybe to appease the Michael Bennett's on their team and guys who they know were in great support of Colin Kaepernick? I'd like to know from his vantage point, because he has not spoken publicly about his NFL, NFL dealings in the offseason. And I'm just curious about whether our team's more reached out maybe they're just not being public about it or what he thinks happened and why he's not playing right and now. was there a moment when he thought it is for sure i am being colluded against it and being held out of the nfl so those were some of the questions ladies we're back spotlight I, those are some of the questions that i had in my mind like okay is he going to talk about this, this 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 and this because i was wondering why he didn't ever come out and speak publicly if you started something this mega then why would you not speak publicly about your opinion on it? Maybe all this time he was saving it. Maybe his whole plan was to not speak publicly, to make a, a whole lot of money off of the book and tell everything in the book. That would have been very smart. Maybe that's what he's doing. Well, maybe that's what... It, well, mm -hmm. I don't know. It, we'll yeah. see. But, I mean, you would think... See, and that's what I was getting ready to say. I was getting ready to say, but he would want to tell people what the book is about. But just like you just said, he has not spoken publicly, so everybody's going to buy the book because so they want to know what he's talking about. He curiosity. was smart. He knew what he was yeah, doing. Yeah, he's never... He's, he's like, y'all knock me on. out. I'm going to get my money another way <laughs> yeah and i think he'll take the million and dump it on the whole campaign for mm -hmm. the kneeling thing like he's he already got money yeah so this yeah. guy's just that committed so i'm having a power move this More church shooting tone. is something that was kind of off the beaten path but i was like a church shooting so a young man was in church <laughs> this is crazy the young man's in church he has a seat a guy comes up to him and says you have to move he says i'm not moving this turns into a physical altercation and um, 
I'll let you see what happens next. We'll go to this clip spotlight. We'll be right back. Robert Braxton was shot and killed attending a church service this past Sunday at Keystone Fellowship Church in Pennsylvania. The 27-year-old was shot by another churchgoer, Mark Storms, who is 46 and claims self-defense. Witnesses say Braxton started causing a fuss over the seat and when a church member tapped him on the shoulder to move, he shouted, don't blank touch me. Then an usher and pastor were soon able to calm him down. The situation soon turned violent when gun-toting Storms, holding the weapon in his hand, flashed a concealed weapons permit badge and told Braxton to get out. Witnesses then recall Braxton saying, what are you going to do, shoot me? And then punching Storms. Storms then shoots Braxton in the chest and right arm. The gunman was arrested and charged with voluntary manslaughter and reckless endangerment. Montgomery County District Attorney Kevin Steele said there was no reason to ever bring a gun to a crowded church. He added that an average of 250 to 300 people attend that church's Sunday service each week. Very Man, crazy. So is that not the craziest thing that you've ever heard? Like That's I've crazy. heard of shootings in a lot of different places, bowling alleys, movie theaters, restaurants, the whole nine, sadly enough. But it's the church, any and everywhere because now. of a seat, a seat That's in crazy. church. Like, in church. Oh, man, this is totally crazy. So I was like, I had to at least let the public hear about that yeah, one. That was crazy. super wild. So on to the show. We got an exciting show for you guys. We got the one and only Mr. Boys, Boys the Bowtie himself, BJ Page, coming up next to talk about some politicals and some PG County business and the whole nine. And we're going to ask him some personal stuff, too, when we come back. So check And out. we're going to have him join our hot topic. Yeah, you want to still do it? We're going to hot topic. Yeah, we have enough yeah, time for it. Have him okay, here. let's make mm-hmm. it happen then. So before we go to that, Dane, I wanted to talk a little bit about us in particular. We don't really do this a lot. We normally just talk about the guests and what's going on with them. Mm-hmm. But we have a little bit of time. So, Dana, what, what is it that you have going on that the people should know about? Oh because God, you... Like that. <laughs> so much stuff. Because I know that you're busy. But I want to take time out to put you put you in the spotlight because oh, yeah. we don't just host shows here. We do a lot of other stuff. So let the people know some of, of course, your TV One thing just debuted. Uh, when was that? Monday. It Monday. was Monday, yeah. I've, it was called Thou Shall Not. And I was so happy looking at myself on TV. I was so excited, y'all, because I was like, okay. Because I didn't get to see it. My first time seeing it was Monday, too. Right? So I have to be honest about something. I'm going to make this quick. So before we left the house, Brian said, let me record it. We were at my mom's house. So. So he went to record it. He said, babe, we can look at it now. This is before everybody else, right? So I got to got a peek at it. And I was like, okay. You know, a lot of times they cut scenes. Like mm-hmm. when I was on the ID channel, they cut a lot of scenes. Okay. So this time I said, I hope they don't cut all my speaking parts, this, that, and the third. So when I watched it, they had all my parts in there. So I was really happy because I got to really act. It wasn't just the camera on me. Right. I was able to show a little something. So I was excited about that. And I um, have some projects in the works. I'm going to be on the upcoming TV series, Loyal and Trust, produced and written by Gil and Pam Nelson. I'm going to be hosting the first true crime stu- true crime show based out of the nation's capital, produced and written by Mitch Creedle. And I'm the host of that show, too. And I'm going to interview... Um, I'm going to interview victims. I'm going to interview survivors. I'm going to interview the detectives, some of the lawyers that were on some of the most horrific cases in the nation's capital. So I have a lot in the works. And I'm also producing a show called NTIC. I can't say what it stands for yet, but that's going to be a hot show. And I'm working on a project with BET, and we start pre-production for that in 2018. And spotlight over the city. So I'm just balancing Man. everything out. My I, speaking engagements, my motivational speaking. When do you speaking. rest, Dana? When do you get a chance to shut your eyes and lay down? Don't, I know you are not shaking your head, BJ, because <laughs> you don't rest either. <laughs> I don't I'm, think nobody gets sleep around here. I know. I mean, I'm excited because, and I'm going to say I'm excited because for so long, I did not have any business. Yeah. So to have all of this business, I feel like God is blessing me at one time. I'm just rolling with the punches. I'm just going because it's like now or never. That's how I look at it. I love it. They I say don't, don't be mad at God for filling up your plate if mm-hmm. you said you was hungry yeah you know what i'm saying what he making about, sure you eat right you so what me? about you stan man enough about me what about you i am so excited because i i, I can't say the name yet but i have hooked up with someone <laughs> in hollywood finally to get my my book turned into a film i had the screenplay some time ago mm-hmm. but it needed to be re- revamped and so now I've gotten into a course to actually learn how to do it myself, but also get involved with producers that's already in Hollywood producing films. So that's one of the big things that's a big deal for me because I've been wanting this book, Blackbird Melly, The Transformation of a Gangster, um, 
to be a film for quite some time. Okay. And I was going to do it independent, but now I don't have to shoot it independent because we shopping it to Hollywood. So, and you got um, that connect. You got that connect. Yeah, I know yeah. the connect. I won't say it, but you got that real connect. <laughs> I got Just a put real me in. Just plug, put me in. Right? So basically, mm-hmm. I got some people serious. who believing in me that's going to actually make that happen that's for me. That's all you need. So, it's all you need is the people. Like, mm-hmm. God is a people. I say, I know somebody. He's the plug for everybody. So if you believe, then he can plug you to anything that you have. Like, he'll make you be in that grocery store line talking on the phone about your production and the producer that you need is standing next to you. Yeah, you and you've never known know, him, yeah. never seen him, don't know nothing about him, but he's the plug. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So that's how it's working. So that's one thing. My documentary that I've been kind of fooling around with for some time now is finally in its editing stages to where I can – see that coming it's not along. a rush you gotta take so, your time yeah, great things I'm, take time somebody told me that and they was like why do you rush greatness yeah you can and that's what you they said to time. me why do you rush greatness and i was just like good point he said if you have a good production you, can. you can't make it yeah, happen overnight yep, that's what trash time. does mm-hmm. happen overnight it's gonna be trash so mm-hmm. if you want it to be solid stay and take your time exactly. they haven't seen it yet so exactly. it's not like they missed it exactly. you know what i mean so i was like cool I had to put it down for a while. I had some family business going on, and I had to put it down for a while. Also, the book. It's a book. It's called Damaged Goods, Is It Me? And it's a book and a documentary. So well, I, how can they, can they purchase that now? No, that's what I'm saying. It's in the editing stage, okay, and so I'm going gotcha. to I'm gonna chase the book with the documentary. Most people do the opposite. They put a book out, and then they, but most people are visual. So mm-hmm. I just decided to do the opposite and put them out, you know, sort of simultaneously. So that's another thing that I have going on, and uh, my motivational speaking a lot of people didn't even know I was a motivational speaker, but now I'm getting ready to start being involved with the prison ministry and all that kind of stuff. So oh, that's, that's kind of more exciting to me than a lot of my other projects mm-hmm. because I like Don't you love that. It? Yeah. Yep. So that's love heavy it? for me. And um, the other things I can't really get into right now because it's kind of like in the works. And um, I made a mistake before I'm speaking prematurely on mm-hmm. things that's in the works. <laughs> and you can well, kind of mess stay yourself tuned. up, but that's I will one of my say, stay yeah, tuned. stay tuned. There's a few other things that's going on that's real heavy that I'm really, really excited about. Um, one is a reality show. I can speak on this one. It's called Making Bail. I'm gonna be filming a reality show. Shout out to Chris Jones. Um, out in Charlotte, I'm gonna be down there filming a reality show sh- sh- show soon. So that's another thing. And the rest I'll leave, but. Making Bell is going to be a serious project. Shout out to Cliff, too. He's got me on an HBO project over oh, there with right. HBO. So I'm going to hopefully be doing some writing over there. Can't can't touch that any further. But in the next three to four months, hopefully I'll be a writer for HBO as well. All right. All right. All right. All right. I love hearing yeah. my people winning. Now we get Mr. Page up here. Yes. And Mrs. Page up here. And we just talking about, well, we're going to bring you up here for a few minutes, or too, Or split Mrs. screeners. Mm-hmm. Yeah, split, split screener or right something. there. So we're going to let her. She right talk there. about she want to mm-hmm. be behind the stage, mm-hmm. behind the scenes and all that kind of mm-hmm. stuff. But oh, we're we going to put be the camera right front. there, Mika. Don't worry about it. You don't even have to move. Split screen. So, yeah. are you finished, Dana? Because I know oh, yeah. are you I'm finished. finished. With your... this, we have um, the rest of this time. It's seven nineteen. We can get BJ in, and then we can have this hot topic. That's right. Last so, ten minutes or so. I'll go to my book trailer. You guys have seen it before, and if you're new to the show, maybe you have not. But this is an older book trailer. Actually, shout out to Rock, Rock Harris. Rock Keem shot this about a billion years ago. What was it like four years ago? I think we shot it, and he called me, and we was talking about doing the book trailer. He was in school in Charlotte, and he said, "You know what?" We can do it right now. I, I said, know, let's do right. it. A student. We don't have no scripts. We don't have no, we ad-libbed the whole thing. We didn't have no set prep. We didn't have no producers. We didn't, let's see we it. Just please went show it. There. Just show it. So, he was a student, so that's great. Yeah, so I loved the project because he was a student at the time. And so, like I said, shout out to Rock. And he stuck his neck out to make that happen for me in one day. And um, it turned out pretty good. So let's check out the trailer. And we'll be right back. Spotlight. In 1990, Washington, D.C. saw more than 470 homicides, earning it the label murder capital of the U.S. Shit, there you go right there. Hey, listen, when y'all pull over to the side, I'm going to go in here and rush this dude. When y'all see me rushing, y'all rush in. About 30 seconds, give me about 30 seconds and rush the door. He ain't gonna know what hit him. What's up with you, man? 
How you feel, man? What's going on with you, man? Man, man, man. I gotta tell you about this meeting, my nigga. Oh yeah, I gotta yeah, go. I don't know yet. I'm trying to see. I went and talked to the diamonds the other day, man. I don't know, man. It's been a little funny. Yeah, I can't, I can't really say. Uh -huh. But I got a funny feeling that these dudes are feeling that meeting, man. So, you already know what it is. Wait for Black to get in there. Give us the signal. Run up in the junk. Snatch this nigga up, get this bread. Spares out. Let me hey, out, Joe. Man. Get this nigga this money, man. Else he gonna kill you. I don't got no... I'm, I'm gonna take you to some money. Just let me All out. Right, get your ass up, man. Come on. Get me up, Let's man. go. Just get me up. I'm gonna take you to some money, man. It's true. And we are back spotlight over the city, you guys. We have a special, special guest, Mr. BJ Pays, that's Boys right, the Bow Ties. That's right, that's right. In the building. He's been here once before, so he's accustomed to being on spotlight, but he has plenty to talk about, so yes, let's get to it. Yes, he does. BJ, thanks for coming. We truly appreciate you taking out time out of your busy schedule to be here. Anytime. So Definitely. first, I wanted to start out with, y'all know me, I have to speak my mind, I have to get stuff off my chest. So Do first it. of all, I want to start off by letting the viewers know that... We are united. The people that you see right here, we are united. We don't let silly stuff break us down. We don't let hatred break us down. We don't let any of that break us down. So I'm saying that because I just want to tell y'all what happened. We've been promoting and pushing BJ right for days. He's coming on the show. So I'm sitting at home about three hours ago. My phone's going off. Bing, bing, bing. Um, all of my posts are getting reported everything's getting reported with bj's face on it i'm i can't even post i can't even put ww spotlight over the city live anymore because i can't even type certain things everything got deleted off his page got deleted off his page so we couldn't even promote for the last hour or so because somebody decided to knock everything off of our pages yeah. that was promoting bj page what he's doing or what he stands for but just let me tell y'all you're not doing anything but blocking your blessings you're yep. blocking your blessings because you can't stop this man you can't you can't, can't stop this man you can't stop us what's meant for us is going to be for us remember mm. that you're blocking your blessings fall back concentrate on you and you grind because we grinding over here we're not right. stopping that's right Dan. so i just wanted to get that off my chest <laughs> and then i'm gonna let the man of the hour introduce himself tell everybody watching who bj page is hello man first off thank y'all for having me again oh no this, this is my this is my second know. home so yeah, expect me right. up here Family. like once a month you even if it's know. a flyby <laughs> right. you already know i'm gonna bring some milk and cookies next time that's right but uh my name is bj page i am uh, running for Prince George's County Council for District 7. And we'll talk about what District 7 is in a few. I'm excited to be here. We are focusing on the community with the mm -hmm. focus on the unity, keeping the respect, accountability, and the culture in District 7. And, man, I'm, I'm excited. This, this is a new lane for me as far as the actual title. 
But I just told somebody this is the same lane in the actual work. So yeah. uh, this just is an opportunity God has graced me with, with just growing uh, and realizing that, yes, you can continue to be uh, boots to the ground. Yes, you can continue to get the community together. But it's going to come a time where you need to cross over and start changing the community. Exactly. And that's where I am now. I'm excited. And let me just say this. We talked about this over a year ago. Yeah. You told me that you were thinking about it. And I was like, BJ, you should do it. You yeah. can do it. Yeah. I know you're the man. And BJ's like, I know I can do it. But uh, and look where you I was so happy when you finally told me, D, I'm going to do it. Thank you, Diana. And then I asked Tamika, I said, is he really going to do it? She was like, yeah, he's going to do it. <laughs> so this has been a long time coming. And I just know that you are the person that we need. Thank you. Thank you. I told man. Stan, though, um, it's funny because I want to I want to I want to I wanna drill this in people's mind is it's we all one. We, we're doing this together and it's not what I plan to do. I hear a lot of people that's that's running or plan to run. They say, you know, I'm going to I'm going to do this. I'm a plan to do this. I'm going to try to do this. People don't want to hear that. man. Mm, exactly. They don't want to hear what you're trying to do. What have you done? So mm -hmm. I told Stan, uh, this is not what I plan to do. This is what I will continue to do with the community support. So thanks. Wow. Yeah. And I love it. I know this gentleman is working hard in the community because right around my neighborhood, I I noticed they had a flyer up one day. And it was like uh, Lago Liquors. And I was just like, what's going on over there? So I started mm -hmm. grinding to it. But let me tell you what's funny about the situation. That same liquor store has showed me that same attitude. Wow. Right? What happened? Tell I us. We don't know. Time. Tell us about well, it. They're really rude, disrespectful. They don't have any respect for your dollar. Um, they talk mm. ratchet. This this the video I saw was a young man actually had an altercation mm -hmm. where they left him around the counter like mm -hmm. dooms. Mm -hmm. He came from about counter the counter and jumped this young man and had oh him on the ground. God. The police came out and arrested this young man. No, it's, it's actually man. Look, this would I'm gonna give a quick yeah, uh, yeah, synopsis. Yeah, so no so you can go to Change Prince George's on Facebook and look at the actual video. But the people that quote unquote arrested this young man after he you know. Had the verbal confrontation and knocked over eight Slim Jims because that's mm -hmm. what happened. Yeah, I saw him smack the counter. Yeah, he knocked counter. over the Slim Jims and that was wrong. But was it warranted? But what's next? They came around the counter. They they beat him. And I literally mean beat him. I, these are punches. They choke slammed him, handcuffed him, and uh, kept him against his will, which is really called a kidnapping. Uh, kidnapping. That's right. Um, and these weren't the police though, Stan and Dana. These was the what? people that, that actually work in the store. Are you serious? They had man? handcuffs. Hand, and guns. Wow. And guns. Yeah, okay. Mm. Well, okay. That's the short version. I'm a, yeah, yeah, you can go to so, Change Prince George's <laughs> to see the whole thing. So I noticed that you were heavily involved with the, pro, with the process of it. I saw that you were leading the whole situation mm -hmm. and uniting people. Of course, I wanted to be involved as soon as I saw it. I was like, yeah, because yeah, I, I, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I identify with that. I said, yeah, they need to go. Mm -hmm. So this is, I like what he's doing because this is this showing how hands-on in the community mm -hmm. he is. Mm -hmm. So if you can expect more of the same from this young man, that can show you he's not trying to do it. <laughs> he's not contemplating doing it. He's not saying he's going to try to do it. He's in the mix. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and he's not scared to speak his no. mind. You have so many people <laughs> that will take a position. But we know they're puppets. They're going to only right. move and say certain things that's when right. somebody's back here. BJ's not going no, for that. No, and that's what man. I love. Her. Exactly. Yes that's what I love and respect about him. And we need our leaders to nah, be that Dana, way. you know what actually brought me to the, to the conversation of, of politics? See, I used to go to these the functions um, as a community leader. I used to get mm -hmm. invited out. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we want you to come out and speak on behalf of the youth or behalf of, honestly, inside the Beltway is, mm -hmm. is the, the, the invite I was getting. And I was like, sure, i come. But I, I would start going, and I would be the one, excuse me, <laughs> like I got a question, mm -hmm. or excuse me, I want to say this. Mm -hmm. And I, I found myself now being at the table with these same political leaders as a community uh, activist, you can say. Mm -hmm. right. So... As I learned, I'm like, you know what? I'm kind of missing my mark because mm -hmm. I'm giving them the tools and the uh, ideas of how to change things right here in the community. And then they get to the table like Dana saying, and then they back off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to do the same thing. Now I'm at the table and I ain't backing off. Right. That's right. <laughs> exactly. And see, so that's what we need. We need real mm -hmm. Leadership, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not leadership that's puppets, mm -hmm. not paid for leadership. Mm -hmm. We need real strong leadership. That's why I respect you so much. Like the first time I met you, I saw the energy was good. Thank you, and brother. then you was headed to where I was headed when you was talking about going yeah, to see the homie, yeah, uh, Eric yeah, Thomas. Yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah bro, I'm going to yeah. see you tomorrow. So <laughs> this, this is how it went. And so it was just a perfect thing. So you can see, you can tell a person's character 
offset mm. more so than here. Mm. This mm-hmm. is a show. Mm-hmm. But when you step off the set and he still has the same zeal, mm-hmm. then you know right. it's real. It's not a show. This man is real. Enthusiasm, yeah, it's everything. The same thing. It's from wow. the heart. Wow, that meant a lot, bro. It's the that, same, that touched so. me a little bit, like really. <laughs> no, I did. It did, you can't be bro. crying on here. I ain't crying. Since I was <laughs> are you in District Seven? Is that yes. where you are? Have you always been there? I've been in Prince George's County since 1990. Mm-hmm. I've been in District Seven probably 13 of those years. Because you got to think. Speaking, perfect segue. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about what District Seven is, so yeah. people know. Exactly. Um, if you're familiar with Prince George's County. This going this the dime dropping right here. So if I see any other people elected officials trying to use this line, I said it first right here. <laughs> That's right. On spotlight. I can, I can pull the link up. It's the P12. It's the bus line for the P12. Okay. From Temple Hills, straight down Silver Hill Road, if you think about it. So you got Temple Hills, Hillcrest Heights, Suitland, Capitol Heights, District Heights, a little bit of Walker Mill, a little bit of, uh, actually a little bit of District Heights, then Seat Pleasant and Fairmont. So okay. it's, it's, it's literally the district P-12. Seven. All of that's District 7. And if I wasn't living in District 7, everything I've done was in District 7. If you look back to Boys the Bow Ties and everywhere we touch from the, uh, the existence, right. it's been in District 7. If you look at all of the people that I represent on a daily basis when I go to these functions and speak uh, to, to the political leaders, it's from District 7's perspective. If you look at what I'm trying to build and where I'm trying to get the youth and the public safety and the mental uh, health uh, to be looked at and housing and jobs, all the stuff that I perfect on a daily basis are driven from District 7. Gotcha. So gotcha. that's me. I'm gotcha, happy. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So let me ask you this quick. Oh, that's so cute. Look, if somebody's over here. She doesn't want to get on the camera. She's blowing kisses. That's your support uh, system. I love it. That's I love the it. boss. It's not right. the light of the support I know system. that's right. So let me ask you this. Were you nervous about running? Like, how was it to run against other people? Ooh. Is it a lot of cattiness i'm saying that because like i can imagine i can only imagine how it is with women how is it running against men because mm. we know men can be catty as well hey, Stan, she, yeah, asked, so. she asked a great question not only can they be catty they can be borderline disrespectful but to answer your question was i scared or afraid or nervous no um and here's why this gonna be where it's gonna it's gonna cut a couple people right in the throat um everything that i've ever done i've told from the beginning mm-hmm I'm going to say that again so you don't even have to rewind it. You don't got to pull the thing back to rewind right. it. Everything I've ever done, I've said at the beginning. Most of the people that's thinking about running or in the race to run for District 7, I'm not talking about no other district, are hiding behind things that they've done. Right. They're afraid of the show to expose what they've done. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't, you know, I want, I build off of that. You know, I wouldn't be where I am today to, to represent some of the same people within my district if I didn't say everything that I've done mm-hmm. open heartedly. Like this is me. Mm-hmm. You know, it's no filter. No filter at all. Okay. Okay. Stan, do you have any questions? Cause I got like Man. three more. My okay. next two <laughs> are going to be going. Keep going. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So going from your um, nonprofit organization, Boys to Bow Ties, mm-hmm. Are you still gonna be? Are you gonna still be doing the same thing, or going as hard for boys to bow ties, or is are you gonna like put that to the back burner, or will it like be united? Well, first tell them what boys to bow ties. Boys to bow ties, great. They know what boys to bow ties is, right? Boys to bow ties (laughs) is a a nonprofit mental organization that's based but not limited in Prince George's County and Washington D.C. And to answer that, it will forever be boys to bow ties. Mm -hmm. That's my that's my baby. Mm-hmm. Will they be together? No, um, that's against ethics. I couldn't bring, I couldn't combine any of that. Okay. Um, but what will happen is, when I get elected, um, I will then have to hire somebody as a, as a president role, mm-hmm. to actually mm-hmm. take over and run the everyday operations of Boys to Bow Ties, uh, and will probably get completely drawn away from me. Mm-hmm. So it wouldn't ever be a question of if my authority. Right. In place. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Great Makes question. Sense. So what do you need from the people of the community? Mm. Yes. <laughs> I told mm. you I have some questions. Let's go, Dana. What do you need from the people of the community oh, to help this let campaign? Me, let, me, let, me, let me drop these quick stats. So inside District 7, um, last election, 7,746 people voted. Like That sounds like a lot, right? Yeah. Uh, current tolls won. 
with 68% of her votes. So she had 500, I mean 5,273 votes. Mm -hmm. The closest person to her, closest person to her had like 1,100, 1,200 votes. All right. If the entire district itself is about 60,000 people. That's so straight that's from the census. Votes, that's not a lot of votes. But that 60,000 is the, the kids as well. So just take 20,000 off of that for kids. Mm -hmm. It's 40,000 people in District 7, and registered voters only came out at 7,700. Um, so I need y'all to come out and vote. If you're not registered to vote, we have plenty of um, political action committees that uh, specifically just do voter registration. We're going to be all over District 7 making sure that everybody get registered to vote. But I won't down anybody that has not voted because the few people close to me that I asked, like, you know, did you vote for the primaries last time? Mm -hmm. They said, nah. So I'm digging deep now because these are the people I know. I'm like, mm -hmm. why? Why you ain't mm -hmm. do this? Why? Mm -hmm. And they was like, I ain't had nobody to vote for. Mm -hmm. So right Good now, point. I'm giving all y'all somebody to vote for, somebody that's going to be there for you, somebody that's genuine, somebody you can trust. More importantly, somebody that's been there to be able to know how to change for the better of, of District 7. And you'll have a direct V-line right here. This man loves his district. Oh, man, no question. I know that because when you were on here before, we, were, we had uh, Tricky Inc. on. Yeah, yeah. And we were Shout talking out. DMV. And you said, I hate that term. <laughs> I remembered it. And then you said, PG County. Dang PG right. County. PG County. You kept screaming that over everything. Right? <laughs> and I said, this man love PG County. But you have to be that in order to be that. Mm -hmm. You have to have a genuine love mm -hmm. for the people and a commitment. In mm -hmm. order to be sincere about your job, mm -hmm. so I remembered it because now you're back, and I didn't know you were going to be running at the time. Right? I wasn't sure. Didn't know. I wasn't sure. Yeah. But it's one more piece that I need, and I know uh, we're here to talk about a lot of stuff. And time is the essence. But no, I got, go I got to drop this. No, 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 no. We, no, no, no. we, we got, got the time. So the, the, the people that's been in place the last four elections, and elections are every four years. 2018, June 26 next year is election day. Um, but every four years is election. They have a lot of money, y'all. They have a lot of money. Mm -hmm. um, in saying that, this is my first run in politics. Mm -hmm. And I would not be a politician, FYI. I would be an elected official. But this is my first run in politics. And we need money. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to think. I was sitting with a strategist, and he was like, you know what? You got everything to win except for one thing. And I'm waiting, like, all right, what I'm, what I'm missing? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking something small, right, Stan? Mm -hmm. I said, you ain't got the money. So I'm like, how much I need? And he gave me a, you know, a vicious number. Like, you probably need about 120. I said, 120 what? <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, watch this breakdown. So think about mail. The little mailers that come that y'all get in the mail mm -hmm. with, with, with the face and the smile and all the information. Mm -hmm. um, those normally run about 50 cents total. All right? So, mm -hmm. so say I only concentrated on the 7,000 voters. All right? Just, just say that. That's a heavy number. Just in the flyer. Yeah, well, just just say six thousand to make it easy math. That's three thousand for one mailer. Mm -hmm. Three thousand dollars for one of my mailers to go out. Obviously, I'm not. I don't want them to go out every day. I don't even want them to go out every week at this time. But as we get close, I need everybody in the district to have this. Mm -hmm. You know, so we got to build some serious money, and that's just talking about the mailers. That's not talking about, you know, going out to knock on doors with mm -hmm. you know pamphlets and information. That's not talking. Um, you know, help have, have people help with the campaign as far as, you know, calling people. Because I'm calling both of y'all to help me. That's right. You all right. All right, just checking. Yeah, but so we got we need some money. That's what we need. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So, so you need... I'm sorry. Go ahead, Sam. No, go ahead, go ahead. So you need money. So are you looking to put... To, right now, is it... Maybe I'm moving too fast. Are you setting up, like, um, events, campaign events to mm -hmm. bring money in? Have you already started that, or is that in process? No, we have. Um, and just for those who, who may be like, Dag, you know, you know, what's why? What's the hold up? We just announced Monday, October twenty mm -hmm. third, on mm -hmm. my birthday. Okay, um, happy belated. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. But we do have some uh, campaign uh, drops coming real soon. Okay, but it's deeper than that. We, you can do it without the campaign. If I can right. get, if I can get a quarter of the people in the district. To do twenty five dollars a month would be all right. Right, gotcha. We'd be all right. So what you need? So what you really need? You need some people to you need some people to help get the word out in District Seven because I'm sure they don't even people, have to live in District Seven to to, to, to donate, donate to the campaign. Right, my right, buddy right. in Cali, like man, I'm gonna send you a quick five hundred. Well, you already know I'm a yeah. Yeah, well, I like I like I definitely. So what could we do to help get it out as far as voter registration? 
getting people uh, to be more aware of voting, where great to question. vote. Great that question. Kind of great question. If you are a Prince George's County resident, you can go right in Largo to the Board of Elections and not only make sure you're registered to vote, but make sure that you're a register to register people to vote. Um, I'm building a team right now. Of, of I'm trying to get it to like 30 or 40 people who just, you know, are registered registers. So it only take about 10 minutes. You don't need an appointment or nothing. Just pull up over there off McCormick. Not McCormick. What's that? Mercantile. Mercantile. Go right to Mercantile, Board of Elections, and you say, bam, I just want to be a register to register people to vote. They can get you in and out of there in 15 minutes. I promise you. So that's, that gives you the ability to register yeah, other people. Everywhere you go, you can register somebody to vote. Gotcha. That's the name of the game. So, BJ, let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. What would you say sets you apart from the candidates that you've run it against? Why should people vote for you? What's so special about BJ Page? What I would say to that, and I'm just going to say what separates me from the people that's running, because I was mm -hmm. about to take that to a whole other level. Okay. Uh, separates me from the people that run it is I actually mean what I say. No disrespect to them. I've, I've, I've watched their campaign. I realize what they're pushing, but they're not showing no action about it. You can't wait till you get in office to say what you're going to do. Right, exactly. You, know, you can't say you, you're about the community, you're about the elders, you're about the youth, you're about jobs, and not one time are you doing it. You know, If right. you ask me what I do full time, I work for Prince George's County Economic Development Corporation mm -hmm. as a youth career consultant. Actually, Polish, I just got a raise. <laughs> I'm, so I'm crazy. A youth, no, I'm a youth <laughs> business consultant. So my job has changed from showing you how to get a job to actually placing you in jobs now. Oh, okay. So, Congratulations so, on that. Yeah, so you, so you can't say what you're going to do. That's what separates me. I looked at, I'm not dropping no names because I don't want to be the dude to do that. But every person that's now saying that they running mm -hmm. got a list of what they're going to do and ain't done now one of them yet. Right, they planning on it. Man, yeah. oh man, that reminds it's a me. That reminds me of the video that I just put up last week when I was speaking to Delaware. That's what I said to the ladies. And I'm you're saying the same thing, but you're just saying this to people on a whole. What I said to them is you can't be that woman to other women if you don't walk what you talk. That's you right, can't right. you can't tell me to do this and do that, but I don't look at you and see you doing that. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what you said. And I mm -hmm. love that because mm -hmm. that's how it should be in real life. You want a leader that's gonna lead you because they walk what they talk. Mm -hmm. And I, I respect that mm -hmm. so much. We mm -hmm. want what you said, an yeah, elected that, official huge. and not a politician. That's right. You get politicians all the time and they say what you want to hear mm -hmm. because that's what gets you to vote for them <laughs> and they have no intentions on doing nothing. That's that right. Do. That's right and I, I, I want to say that everywhere I go to those things I didn't mean to cut you off no, go ahead. Um, when we get elected as a community when we get elected we're going to be elected officials we got that's the separation of Dana that's the mm -hmm. real answer to your question you know people people in Prince George County kill me man why? I, I'm a politician. Look, I'm, like, why? I'm a politician. I'm a politician. Politicians sit on Capitol Hill mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They, they lobby in Capitol Hill what you say? They lie on Capitol Hill. They lobby. Oh, lobby. <laughs> he said they lie on Capitol Hill. I ain't know what was going on. But, I just um, said, okay, I'm back. Right. Yeah. Elected yeah. officials are what we are once we get in office. You know, don't ever forget that. And I won't. Yeah. BJ, is it any elected officials right now that you're tied to or you're close to that are pr pushing you, wow. promoting you? It on is. Your team? It is. But because of because of how that game is is really presented to to how to it's ethics mm -hmm. you know they got a thing called mm -hmm. board of ethics you got to go through ethics to make sure that you are qualified to run um and because of what how ethics is built i can't say it until we officially do it. Oh, okay gotcha, gotcha. You know, yeah gotcha. but once we officially do it you can pay attention if you follow me on facebook you will see who i who i rock with and who i don't rock right with. right but as far as saying it i next month i'll be here to say it okay that's, that sounds <laughs> good you'll be able to say need, more all right come back because yeah. we want to the closer you get you know, to election time, we gotta push, and we want to make a campaign platform so we can get people. Man, bless you, man. That, that mean a lot. That means. But a lot. I told yeah, you before you came to. I know you meant it. Yeah. And what I said, all right, I'm gonna let you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. Back. yeah. <laughs> and you back. I appreciate you though. Yeah, man. So anything else you need to tell the people as far as uh anything you want to get out? Yeah, 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 yeah. Get it out. Please, 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 because I'm pushing my my campaign a little different. Please like, share, follow, everything. 
everything, everything, vote for BJ Page. That's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, even .com. Vote for BJ Page. That's how we're going to kill them. They can't even relate to us for real on, on, on how we're going to push our campaign versus how we've been taught by the wrong people for the last mm -hmm. 20 years. Mm -hmm. How you going to say this how you run? Hold on. Speaking of, I got so many people that try to tell me this is how you're going to run a campaign. This is how you're going to run a campaign. You ain't never won a campaign. Right. Don't you? <laughs> that's the, the I just best had to shut up. I, I was getting ready to start running the, my I'm mouth. I'm tell but, you, that's the best yes. advice I ever got in my life. Someone told me a long time ago. Don't follow a path of a person that hasn't yeah, done what they, you, what you trying you, to right. do. If you talking to a person that haven't done it, they they be the main ones too, mm -hmm. by the way. Mm -hmm. But if they haven't done it, how are they going to tell you how to do it? That's right. That's right. But I always tell them, though, I'm, I'm, I'm never disrespectful. So I'm going to listen to you. I'm going to hear you out. But watch us work. Yeah. And on a flip side, it could be somebody that has done it. And just because they did it a certain way does not mean that that's going to work for you. Or it, can, it doesn't mean that you can't put your twist to it and do it your own way. Right. Yeah, that's right. So, I talked to my buddy yesterday, and I can say his name because it ain't nothing to do with politics. Shout out to uh, Marcus Bullock, man, with Flick Shop. Um, Y'all need to meet Marcus, too. Yeah. But I talked to Marcus uh, yesterday, and he was like, bro, I hear you. You got a vicious campaign. You got some good people with you. You got a nice knowledge uh, base of knowing what you got to do, but run your campaign. Mm -hmm. Like, don't worry about what yeah. everybody else is doing. Yeah. Get the people behind you. Get them registered to vote. Get them to give you $10, $20 a month. You will win. So I got to make sure that everybody understands that. You know, if we do this together as a group, we all won. Well, you know what? Spotlight Over the City is definitely going to push that with you. We're going to yeah. push it from now until... June 26th. You're in the office. June 26th. Yeah, we we need you guys to go that. out. Yes, yeah, we definitely, right, sure. definitely are. We're going to celebrate I'm that. I'm super proud of you, man. man it takes you, a man. lot of energy. It takes a lot of, you're going to take some hits. You're going to have mm -hmm. some naysayers. You're going to have some doubters. You're going to have a lot of other stuff that mm -hmm. goes on to pull on you. But keep pushing. They we start now, Stan. We yeah. saw what we saw today. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, it's crazy. funny. We laughing because mm -hmm. when people do those kind of things or when those things occur, then what you know is you're doing something good. Yeah, you're, you're, right. you're headed yeah, the right happens, direction. Yep. See, right. you're headed the right direction. That's right. Definitely. You know what we could do, though? Right What's that? Since they did do all that, I challenge everybody listening to this now to just share this. You ain't even got... If you just share this over and over and over and over and over again... People will see it even if they they can't yeah. block it. They can't block that shit. Yeah, you can't. And we're definitely gonna put it out. <laughs> so we'll it. we'll have it. We'll have the footage to put out. So we can all just keep sharing it and sharing it. And like I said again, to everybody watching, you can't stop what God has already planned. You can't stop it. And it's you a waste of energy, this man. Mm -hmm. So if you if you have that much hate to, to, to go and try to you know whatever you're trying to do, if you just put that energy into what you're doing, then you might cut come out on top mm -hmm. no know? question you Thank might you. could no question not in this case but you know no, some you cases. might could <laughs> In some cases, but yeah, we thank you for coming on. We yeah. want you to finish. Um, we want you. We can. We don't have time for our topic today. Dang, you know, so we, we ran don't. out of time, so we can go ahead and stretch it out, BJ. If anything else you wanted to talk now, about, you know, I don't sit have up here all day and talk. It. I'm gonna say, um, please shoot emails to info at voteforbjpage.com. Um, phone number is 301-388-6519. Um, and just remember, I'm gonna continue to do what I've been doing. This ain't it. Ain't nothing new, and I'm I'm thinking about what's this right here? That's from the other day. That was Monday. That's the, that's the on squad. His squad up. Yeah. Okay, guys. Um, <laughs> I thought y'all was doing something. Speaking of, look, so I'm gonna say something. Somebody told me to, to, that I should voice this because I, I was like, I'm not voicing stuff like that, but it's the truth. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna say, man, my team is full of some powerful people, uh, a lot of business owners, a lot of influential people, but even deeper than that, it's built with some powerful ladies. Some powerful black woman mm -hmm. that either lives in District 7, have businesses in District 7, or have some heavy influence in District 7. So shout out to my entire entire squad, but even more shout out to all of the, my ladies that's, that's definitely helping us push this campaign. I love it. You seem to have a lot of help. We're going to get you some more help. So if anything I can do, like I said, unite some more uh, community people and leaders and stuff. Let's do a voter registration here. You yeah, said, of course we can. You know, we can do whatever you need yeah, to do here. That's we that's definitely, that. definitely we'll can do up. that. Doing it. And that's that. But you know what, Diana? See, the voter registration is definitely based to be for for me, but it's really for the people that need to be registered to vote. Right. right. Of you course. know, especially if you live in Maryland, new law was passed, man. If, don't worry about if you got if you think that you can't vote because of your your background. Give me a call or email. Nine times out of ten, you are. 
I was going to say that I didn't know if this was the platform because in certain states, as a felon, you can vote. Yep. Even as a felon. Yep. Um, it's just I don't know if it's the nature of the felony. I'm it not. Is. I'm not educated on it. But it is. That's yeah. and that's why I said just give me a holler. We can talk one on one. And that's another thing you're gonna gain if we get in office. I'm forever gonna be that dude that you can talk to. If I'm too busy, I'm too busy. But the second that I'm not busy. We can talk. I'm never going to shoot you to my front desk like person. I'm never going to shoot you to, to my assistant. I'm going to say, all right, leave your information. And as soon as time permits yourself, we can talk. We can wrap. Right. See, and it's so funny because I know the youth that are out here, if they can just hear you, mm -hmm. so many of them don't even know who BJ Page is yet. Mm -hmm. If these young people in District 7 have a spot where they could come out to, so we're going to have to get something together that's going to bring them out. Mm -hmm. That's going to mm -hmm. interest their minds. But if they can hear you, if they can stand in front and hear BJ Page speak, those youngest would you know be on people. board. And you look like them. Ah! The, I mean, it's yeah, more... It's identifiable. Yeah, relatable. More, I mean, more young people, if somebody's standing up there with a suit and tie and nothing against suit and ties, because you wear suit wear, and ties a lot. Uh -huh. Bow but ties. If, if you're standing up there and you have somebody <laughs> that looks like you, you're dressed regular, just say uh -huh. you don't have on a suit and tie, and somebody else with a suit and tie that looks like they don't know anything about what's really going on in the no street. No connection. Yeah, no, no connection. connection. These young people are really going to gravitate towards you. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. So, and, and if they do, watch this. This, this would. Um, I remember me and my wife was talking about this. Shout out to my wife. I love you. Um, she right there too. Right. We've been trying to get her on there. <laughs> uh, She's like, no. Right. Tour, yeah. well, we talked. We talked about this, right? If you really think about it, we gonna win this first term, right? Mm -hmm. That's four years. We gonna do good. We gonna win the second term. Mm -hmm. That's four years. So that's right. eight years. Mm -hmm. Them same kids we talking about. If they come out to vote, watch right. how this spin. You only get two terms as a, a county council. For a district. How long is the terms? Four years. Four years. Four so, years. Okay. But watch this. They just passed that now we have an at-large seat. Mm -hmm. So you can do the at-large for two terms. So potentially, if we get in office. When, we, when, we, when, get in when office. we get in office. When we get in office. 100% right. Yeah. If, if it was a fifth, we all be drunk. Yep, so we doing positive. <laughs> no, no when hits. we get in office, um, this 16 years of all of our lives right here changing from District 7, Prince George's County. Mm -hmm. right. That's crazy if you that. think about yep. it, Snow. That's crazy. Shout out to uh, sh hold on. Shout out to my my campaign um, chair Tasha. My champagne man, my champagne, my champagne. My campaign <laughs> treasure Sharon. Hey, mm -hmm. Daddy. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go nowhere. Because without them two being in, in, in position, it's no way possible that, that we can be running this campaign like we run. Oh, shout out to them. Team is everything. Teamwork makes the dream. But it's not like a strong team. Everybody mm -hmm. needs that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Definitely. once again, give out your information. We got to wrap it up in a few. So give out all your information, your pages, where they can yeah. follow. Make sure they can get on yeah. there and see what you're doing in the community so they can be a part of it. Yeah. Uh, um, first off. Shout out to Spotlight over the city for allowing me to be here oh, again. No problem. It's a pleasure. So thank y'all. Thank y'all. You're here whenever you need uh, to be here. We everything. You all outlets. That's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Is at Vote for BJ Page. The website is www.votefobjpage.com. And remember, we all won. We doing this together. We in here and we gonna win. That's right. We appreciate I'm you for being on the show, Man, BJ. Tamika, it was always great to see you. And Come a on, pleasure. flash that camera on Tamika. Even though we didn't get, <laughs> get you over on the there camera. on the camera. No, I'm behind <laughs> the scenes. I just have his back. Let him do him. Uh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, I'm so happy to see y'all. And you just know that we are down with y'all. Whatever you need us to do to be a part of it, y'all already know. We got, we're a family. Mm -hmm. But we are a family with, with Spotlight over the city. Gotta too, get so. the people exactly. what they want. Yeah, think about which, whatever y'all need us to do and you let us know. Gotta get the people what they want. So make sure you guys go and hit his page up make sure you stay tuned into this gentleman because he is for the people and he's doing some amazing things so make sure you guys tune in and hit him up that's right and before we go we know it's also breast cancer awareness yeah. month i didn't do a show on breast cancer awareness we did do domestic violence for whatever reasons the same month but we didn't do a uh, cancer awareness so i'm gonna shout out everybody um that's going through it hold your head Prayers are with you guys. Cancer is a really serious situation that's plaguing us in this community today. All the communities, everybody's community is being affected. It's colorblind. So, uh, again, Ryan Rue, my prayers are with you. And um, RIP to your mom. Mm. Um, sorry to hear about your situation. Heard it on the way to the show. So mm. I will be talking to you. So 
on that note, you guys, we got to get out of here. Yeah. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Spotlight over Every the Thursday, city. 7 p.m., make sure you guys tune in. Spotlight over the city. Love hard, live good. God first. Spotlight. Peace out.